What up, Reader fam? Today, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Whoopa! Oh, it's upside down. Ah, <laughs> fail! Let's try that again. You're One and Only by Adrian Finlay. I'm happy to be working with HMH Teen on this video and they hooked me up with this sick book right here. This story is about a world in which the human race has died off. And now the world is run by clones! Clone, hallelujah, clone, hallelujah. We follow two different perspectives in this book. We follow Alfie, who is a clone, and then we also follow the perspective of Jack, who is not a clone. He's in fact human. He's the only human left, and he is lonely. He is so lonely. He has nobody, because the clones don't want him. No, really, the clones, like, hate this guy. They do not want anything to do with Jack. They just want him to go away and mind his own business, which is really sad, because all Jack wants is to be accepted and to be able to contribute to this community. After bad things start happening in the community, all the blame goes on Jack. This is a concept that I was so excited for, so when I read the description of this book, I got on my knees and I prayed to the Lord above that this story would be executed well. Thankfully, the Lord answered my prayers and I found that this concept was done so well in this book. I was actually really nervous to read this book because you know when you read the description of a book and you're like, oh, that sounds awesome, and then you read the book and the concept is just like executed so poorly and it's just like, Aah. It's like the concept behind the story is cooler than the execution of the story. Thankfully, that was not the case here, though. This author took this cool concept of clones and fully fleshed out this idea and did a fantastic job of making this a super engaging story. We have a winner, my friends. While I really liked this concept, I'm also really freaked out by the idea of clones. Like, I just can't imagine there being like 500 of me that have the same personality as me, the same gestures, thoughts, opinions. It's just no. If clones ever become a thing, you can just count me out. It it would be cool to have like a clone that I kept secret though and like you could just send them off to do things that you want to avoid like if you want to spend the day inside reading but your friends want you to come out and hang out so you just send the clone off to handle the situation and you sit back and you read your book maybe I do want a clone after all I really liked how in this book there were like different generations of clones there's like first generation second generation third generation so if you're one of the younger generations you can look at the older generations and kind of see how you're going to age I also just thought how the clones interacted with each other was really interesting. The clones pretty much vibe off of each other. They're able to sense each other's emotions. And if one of the clones is like stressed out or going through something difficult, they can kind of like calm each other down. I'm normally someone who is more keen on character driven stories, but this is definitely one that was more plot driven than anything. And I surprisingly really liked it. I still got a sense of who the characters are and what this world is all about. But the plot of the story is what really carried me through this book. It won me over, that's for sure. I really liked how the main theme of the story was kind of not fitting in. We have this human in a world full of clones and they treat him like dirt and blame him for everything and it delves deep into this idea of how this new world kind of lost its footing over time and how it kind of forgot to accept things that are different there are just so many great qualities to this book it's a pretty well written book I won't say that it's the most quotable book something that I started to do recently is mark some of my favorite quotes throughout books and this one just didn't have any quotes that like had me drooling or anything but it's overall well written when it comes to the plot and the world building now I can't say that I was fully able to visualize every setting that the author sets up for us, but I was fully able to understand how this world worked. Another great thing about this book is that it has a lot of surprising moments throughout it. It's like you're on a road trip with this author and you think you know where she's taking you, but then she's like, over here, sucker! So this one definitely had me surprised several times throughout the story. I do have a few critiques for this book. There was a point towards the end of the story where things felt a little bit info dumpy. It kind of takes you on this ride of uncovering how the world got to this point, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, and I personally found it to be rather interesting, but it does slow down the story a bit, and I kind of wish that we would have gotten little sections throughout the story, revealing how the world got to this point. And my last critique is kind of focused on the relationship that takes place in this book. I really liked the relationship, and I liked the slow burn, but I also just kind of felt a major lack of chemistry between the characters. I was okay with them being together, but I just wasn't diehard shipping them. Overall, though, I really enjoyed this book. It's definitely one that I can recommend checking out if you're interested in it. If it sounded interesting to you, then definitely go and check it out. I ended up giving this book a 4 out of 5 stars, or rather a B plus. All in all, I really enjoyed it. You guys should let me know down below in the comments if you have read your one and only and what you thought about it, or if you plan to pick it up, or just let me know your thoughts on clones. Do they freak you out like they freak me out? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to see more videos from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe, or go and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, choo.